Hello and welcome. I will focus here today on the first phase of my wireless energy project via the spiral coil, which is based on the specific um, patent from Tesla, where he didn't define any additional values to make it work. That is why many different people around the world um, did struggle with the efficiency of such a system. And I remember various Yahoo groups, which I was a member, and I know also Professor Mail, who is working on a selling such a system for over a thousand euros and more, where he actually consumes about uh, 5 watt out of 10 volt. I want to demonstrate that, that I can be much, much more efficient here, and that the energy transfer can be much better done by replacing so-called um, normal or real resistance with imaginary resistance. Imaginary resistance are all complex impedance uh, matching system which have an LCR network where based on a frequency at a specific frequency of a combination of capacitor and the coil uh, um, um, a resonant frequency um, is produced and at this value it has a specific resistance which is the impedance. So we're talking about J values or conjugate on a, a normal solenoid coil or we're talking about does not need to be a solenoid can also be a toroid on on, a, on, uh, on air coil and we're talking about a negative um, J if we talk about a capacitor. So we have here a threshold on our system which is based on a, on a lead from a source even if we don't use any resistor and connect directly to our application here to our amplifier and would energize that, we would not be able to go above a specific value for um, um, creating energy which we can receive on the other side. By replacing the resistor and, 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 ex and replacing it with an, with an imaginary resistance, we have first of all full control over the value, we avoid any heating up and third, we can harness the energy, that is a subject I will then discuss on my website in additional videos, that we can adjust this energy, we can take that out and can harness it and charge capacitor banks or batteries out of it on a source side already. That means rather than getting it heated up in a, in a resistor, we are reusing this energy. So here I am working on two volt complex um, Impedance matching is taking place here, is matched on both sides and if I energize that now to 2 volt, you can see that on 2 volt and if you compare that with my previous video where I had to go up to 15, uh, um, 50 or 20 volt and get up to 100, 120, 150 milliampere and did not achieve more than 10.5 or 10.6 volt on my load you can see how efficient this system is. I use only 2 volt, 70 milliampere, and get to my 10.8 volt almost on my 11 volt load. So I have full control with the capacitor where I can change the impedance here on the system. That means, as you can see here, if I change that down, but even a small value, as you can see here, which changes only by 10 milliampere, goes down to a value where it doesn't make any it doesn't create any energy anymore. So it's, it's highly sensitive and if I bring that back to my value I had before I'm up to the value I had almost. That's quite difficult to achieve. So I will go into more details on my website for my members where we analyze that, where we look at how we can store energy are looking at the system as a as a closed system for a household, not something for transferring energy to the distance. We are avoiding all EMC radiation by using coax cable and enclose the system. So we have some little power input side on on a on a on a driving on transmitting side, and we get higher output on the output side where we can charge capacitor bank or batteries. Please join me on my website and follow all my video series about this project and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.